Hi, Doug Mealy of Safer Handling. Today I want to talk to you about the physical section of our course. This is the one to me that seems to get the most apprehension. So the first hour, or your first twilight if you're a school for example, would be theoretical. We'll be talking to your staff about law, legislation, rights and responsibilities. The second session is made up of physical skills, the skills necessary for people to become competent in undertaking activities of physical intervention, or positive handling perhaps. So what should we expect? Well, we asked for people to come along in sensible attire, so tracksuit bottoms, t-shirts, training shoes, and to remove any jewelry. Sometimes people say to me, well, I wouldn't have time to remove my jewelry in an incident of physical intervention. You wouldn't do a warm up either, but we're gonna ask you to do a short one of those. Now it's not gonna be anything taxing because some of you may not have done any kind of physical activity since perhaps gym class or, or PE when you were at school. All we ask is that you learn the skills in a sensible and safe environment. So we ask that people follow the instructions of the trainer. Uh, we ask that people don't attempt to undertake something which they may feel they can't physically do, they could get injured doing or they're not comfortable doing. For example, at work, if your employer said to you, lift that box and you tested the weight and you realised it was just too heavy for you, yet you still lifted it and injured yourself, you'd carry a portion of that blame. So if there's anything on the course where we ask you, which we ask you to do, where you think you wouldn't be able to do it, then we ask that you leave it out. For example, there are some techniques where we kneel down on, on one knee on the floor. If you felt that by kneeling down, you wouldn't get back up again, then I'd ask you not to do it.